Hey guys, what is going on? Thank you for joining me again today. My name is Trevor, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching Madtown Games. So today, I wanted to do something a little bit uh, different, I guess, uh, that I've never really done on the channel before, and that's give you guys a little um, overview of what my gaming setup is like and what I use every day for gaming purposes, and uh, just kind of go over everything and talk about it a little bit. I recently added PC gaming to my lineup, and uh, it's really great. <laughs> so I'll show you guys what I got set up there. And I'm also a pretty avid PlayStation 4 gamer, so I will show you guys uh, what I got set up there. So uh, let's go take a look. Alright guys, so uh, here's the basic setup. Uh, I'll start with my PlayStation 4. Uh, here's pretty much what I got. I'll exclude this 3DS charger. That's not part of it. But anyway, uh, so I got just a... Um, Sansui TV uh, does the job. I mean, it's not great, but it, it works. It's a 24 inch TV, I believe. Um, but I got that, and then the PS4 sits underneath this little uh, stool, step stool thing, so that my TV can sit up a little bit higher, so it's not at desk level. Um, I do have the PlayStation camera accessory for my PS4, and I use it for live streaming or just. Uh, messing around in the playroom or anything like that really. Um, I don't really like the sound that this TV puts out so I just bought a couple small little Logitech speakers. I mean they're not great but they sound uh, a hell of a lot better than what this TV puts out. But um, got DualShock 4 for the PS4 and uh, obviously dirt can go through and I uh, got quite a few games on here. And like I said, I like to play PS4 quite a bit, and uh, this is where I do it. And I actually like this setup a lot. I used to have the PS4 sitting over on this little desk area over here, or this little, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. But then um, I used to use this thing for tucking my MacBook Pro underneath it and running an HDMI cable up to the TV so I could use that as a display. But uh, I just got this new iMac, and clearly I do not need the MacBook Pro anymore for, uh, or I don't need the TV to use as a monitor for the MacBook Pro. So uh, that's my basic PS4 gaming setup. Uh, nothing fancy, but I really like it, and it gets the job done. Next, we'll head over to my PC setup. Uh, this is a 27 inch 2013 Apple iMac. I did an unboxing of it. Uh, it's actually the last video that I did, you can check that out. Uh, it's a beastly computer, really, really nice. Um, so, I got all my Steam games on here. Uh, I don't have too many yet, but I will be getting more because, uh, as anyone who games on Steam knows, uh, it's freaking crazy good deals. <laughs> uh, but I also use another DualShock 4 controller for um, playing uh, PC games. I actually have a uh, set of drivers that allows my uh, computer to think that this is a 360 controller. I do have a uh, Afterglow 360 controller, um, but I do prefer using the DualShock 4 a hell of a lot more for um, any and all games, really. It works really good for, uh, I've played Skyrim with it, Saints Row 2, they all work perfectly good. But uh, this computer is running, let's see here, I can get this up. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, okay, so as you can see, my Mac is running um, Windows 7. I do like Windows 7 more than Windows 8, but that's just me. I know some people like Windows 8 a lot more. But uh, the good things about Mac is that along with OS X, you can also partition your hard drive and run Windows on it as well. So you can boot up into Windows. So this is running uh, not with a virtual machine or anything, it's actually partitioned hard drive running full Windows 7. So uh, much better for gaming than Mac OS X. But anyway, going back into Steam, I mean, not really a whole lot you can save, but this computer runs most games that I want uh, at full um, ultra high settings. It really has no problem running like Skyrim had uh, beautiful quality graphics with texture packs added and everything like that and uh, I really really do like it a lot but uh, yeah overall guys this is my new gaming setup uh, I'm in here for <laughs> 
quite a bit of the day. Um, I do want to do some videos. I do have fraps on my computer now, and I'd love to do some uh, PC gaming videos. I just gotta figure out a game that I would like to actually uh, do it with. And the PS4, if you guys haven't heard, uh, they're releasing a patch in the next coming weeks that will actually allow you to turn off the uh, HDCP uh, function so you can actually record with uh, Elgato's and things of that nature. And that will be awesome because I don't really, the reason I haven't been posting any gameplay videos lately is because uh, there's no real easy way to record PS4 gameplay unless you want to spend some extra money and get a splitter or uh, upload your videos to Facebook and then take them off of Facebook and it's just a hassle. So with that update coming I should have more PlayStation 4 gameplays and like I said I definitely would love to have more um, PC gameplays as well. Um, a couple extra side things I do have some, I mean this is just gaming headset in general, it works with PC or PS4. Uh, they're some cheap Turtle Beach PLAs. I think they were like 40 bucks, but they work really good and I actually enjoy them quite a bit. But yeah guys, uh, that is my, like I said, that is my gaming setup. Um, comment and let me know what you like about it, um, what you don't like about it. Uh, I guess leave a, <laughs> tell me what to, your gaming uh, setup is like. Um, post a video or post uh, me a link to a video of your gaming setup so I can check it out. But anyway guys, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you later. Adios.